so so this morning it's uh 19 freaking degrees <coughs> we're just getting cold uh south carolina we don't like 19 degree weather too dang cold and i know there's some of you in some regions that that's probably just not that big a deal that's an everyday thing but man down here with this moisture in the air it's freaking cold which my daggone hose pipes uh froze up which i spread that thing out <coughs> which i got a long hose pipe to get all the way out there to the to the animals but uh out of there coops that thing's froze up i gotta bust that thing up and also this is the time of year which uh brings up a point uh you know what i'll tell y'all about that later we'll get into that that's pretty cool i think y'all y'all like that but uh the other thing i'm gonna get done today and since it's a daggone cold and everything's broken down well is today's the day to get rid of that So I'm burn that bad boy down. Get rid of that eyesore. And then use the ashes for the uh, for the garden beds. But first of all, I gotta go get all the ice out of all the water containers for all the chickens, the ducks, and the rabbits. Cause all their stuff froze up overnight. So let me get all that mess cleaned up. Oh, there we go. All right, that's deep, dog. Oh, there we go. My city, man. Tell you what, I think about having some something this far out from the daggone house and having to haul this buckets all the way to the daggone house to spick it just to fill the water up. Which I can see why people live in real colder regions. They get them daggone heated waters. And that's a lot of aggravation of time, but I mean, truthfully, you still gotta clean the things out anyway, so I ain't quite sure. I really get that, but uh, you just gotta clean them all the time anyway. I ain't thought about that. You gotta haul them anyway. Uh, I guess unless like you got the, some kind of water feeder or your water's right out there at the, at the thing, but yeah, that's, yeah, I just don't get that. You gotta clean the things out anyway. So you're doing it anyway. Okay, so that ain't saving me no time. All right, well, I don't guess I need to do that crap, huh? Let's get the chickens their water. I already got the ducks. There's the outside, luckily. I gotta tell you too. Came here this morning to check their fermented corn. Guess what? That's froze too. I had to break that up just to. <coughs> Just to get the corn out. Whoo! Man. Alright. Got the rabbit settled. Got that water on froze. Got the crazy ducks done. And I got my chickens done. 
And of course, you know Penelope, my dog. She's inside nice and comfy like a little princess. She don't like the cold. She didn't even want to go out this morning to go potty. <laughs> Spoiled little thing. Whew. Uh, uh, all right. This is the other thing I want to tell y'all about. You know, y'all buy like bug zappers and all that for like around your, your back porch and when you're outside and stuff, you don't want mosquitoes messing with you. See that right up there? See right there? That's what all you need right there. Your bat boxes. Like today, I gotta get up there and I'll clean that thing out for the winter. Cause them bats is gone, man, they ain't up there. But uh, I clean my bat boxes out and get them things ready then right around. Same, about the same time I go ahead and start planting and stuff. I got some spray, some bat spray. I'll spray up in them boxes. Attract them bats back. We don't have trouble with mosquitoes and stuff. Man, them bats tear them out the frame. So, uh, yeah, I got those to clean out today, but I'll do it while I'm doing burning the, the wood pile. So burning the wood pile is the next project. That's gonna be an all day thing, actually. But uh, once I get that burn, I'll get the ashes and I'll move over to my, to my garden beds. So I reckon we just need to get started burning that stuff up. That'll be one big ice right away. So, first order of business is the water. We gotta wet down the, yeah, I had to get the ice broken up. <clears throat> Out of hose pipe. Oh my God, which I think there's still some froze in there because that's really not a lot of water. Yeah, the ice is still going to come busting through there. It's probably going to come through in chunks, to be honest. But while I was doing this little spittery sputtery thing, go ahead and went down the outside of the pile here. See, it's just kind of like this. Ice. Still ice in that hose pipe. I think it's all kind of gathering up there too. Look at that. <laughs> and that's full blast on. <laughs> yeah, all that ice is running down the all ice is running down the line, kind of gathering up. At least will spit out of here pretty soon. At least it's going to spit out before I start lighting that fire off. I can tell you that. Well, we got to wait this stuff down. So, I finally got full blast on the hose pipe. It's now I can get some stuff done, get this thing watered down, get this fire started, because it's going to be a, like an all day thing going here. Which, by the way, I'm going to use a little bit of lighter fluid to get this thing started with. If you're starting a fire, by the way. Don't use gasoline. You know how many people I've picked up using gasoline on fires? Not smart. Not smart. Burning good now.
Okay. Definitely narrowing the pile down. Just gotta finish getting it all back up there in the middle, let it break down, we good to go. Whew. Started sweating. Whew. That took that big coat off. That's getting a little warm. This thing's doing kind of died down about where I want it to. I gotta finish centering some of them outside stuff things up, but that thing burnt down nicely. I can't believe it. Burned down good. For you. you can't believe how hot that is sitting around even the far outside edges of that daggone fire man that thing is smoking hot Whew. i'm gonna have to wait for that thing to burn down even just down to the ground to get the pieces and parts and throw it on the ashes and let it finish burning it's too hot i mean look you wouldn't think that that little fire be that hot i got news for you that thing's hot so to get them little outside pieces left out in the outside ashes of that thing. I might just wait for it to burn on down. That thing is smoking hot, but I can't believe how that thing burnt down. That thing burnt down good. I mean, you can kind of see the area. I mean, it was all the way out here, all the way up, around, and now it's left in that little, little pile. So that thing burned down good. That's gonna make some good ashes for that garden, man. So, don't waste anything if you can help it. Time to get my bat box cleaned out and get it ready for the spring. So I got my my mosquito control back. 
Let's get that thing down and cleaned out. Okay, sometimes what you'll get, and this is my bat box, a little small thing, but on the inside, you get some squirrels sometimes crawl up in there, stuff, straw, you know, the debris and stuff up in there, so I have to get that out, but it doesn't, doesn't really look like I got that to worry about this year, so this bat box is good. I get the other ones get them cleaned out, get them hung back up, and then my mosquito controls right back in place for my back deck. See if we got any uh, late layers today. Oh. There's one right there. He's laying. Hey, chickens. Hey, chickens. What are y'all doing? Be truthful. That one that's on that this end down here. I'm afraid she might be getting broody. So, because uh, I've called her there a couple days now. I'm hoping not, but we'll see. I don't want to really joss her around, mess the egg up if she's laying one. I'll uh, I'll come back later and check. Man, I hope she ain't broody. You know while I'm in here, I'm gonna go ahead and fill the rat stuff up. Got some more pellets. I just gotta refill her hay. I did want to show you one thing. I kept telling you about how messy ducks were. The water was always dirty. So the thing about those ducks is, in order for ducks to eat, they gotta be able to have access to water to be able to get it all down. Well, in return, a lot of that stuff comes out in the water, so it dirties the water up. This is what it did to the water overnight. So I clean that booger up, refill that water. I'm telling you. Them ducks are messy. All right, got their bowl cleaned out, so just go ahead and get in some more water. Okay, got everybody's water refilled. <laughs> Refilled, excuse me. <laughs> got our food leveled out. So the chickens, ducks, rabbits are set. Bats are set for the spring. I just gotta finish watching the the, uh, the burn the rest of the day and then it'll probably be tomorrow if we we'll actually get those that uh those ashes back in the in the garden bed because I need it to cool off pretty good, but uh alright. So I guess who's back in the chicken run for the chickens. Crazy ducks. I don't know what it is about them wanting to be around them chickens, boy, but they, they find a way into this daggone chicken run all the time. I mean, look at them. 
I guess they think they're slick. Chickens. What in the world is them ducks doing eating chicken run? Huh? Are they crazy? Crazy ducks. Them ducks ain't got a look sense. Just a bunch of nut bags. I ain't got too far to go on that fire. That thing's burnt down. Practically nothing. This was left. Got all this. That's all we got left to burn. So that burned up pretty good. I'm actually quite proud of it. So, uh, there you go. All right, so that's all I got for today. Uh, kind of a short one, but uh, anyway, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, like usual, just uh, leave them in the comments below. We'd appreciate it. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Please subscribe. I do know there's quite a many, uh, quite a good many watching that didn't uh, actually subscribe subscribed to our channel. If you would, we'd appreciate it. Um, but if you have any questions or whatever, just let me know. And I hope to see you again on the next one. Thanks for watching. Burn a lot, but we still got a ways to go.